the world's most advanced radar systems, and deliver massive firepower with pinpoint precision, all while looking like it belongs in a science fiction movie. That's the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Today, we're diving into the jaw-dropping engineering that makes the B-2 one of the most advanced and mysterious aircraft ever built. From its shape to the materials it's made of, every inch of this bomber is designed to beat physics and enemies. Let's break down what makes this flying wing such an engineering marvel. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos. A shape from the future. At first glance, the B-2 doesn't look like a typical aircraft. There's no tail, no vertical stabilizers, just a sleek flying wing. But this isn't just for aesthetics, it's all about stealth. That unique shape reduces radar cross-section dramatically. Traditional planes bounce radar signals off multiple surfaces, but the B-2's curved surfaces scatter radar waves in all directions, making it incredibly hard to detect. This flying wing design was inspired by ideas from as far back as World War II, but it took decades of tech advances to make it actually work. Engineers had to rethink the fundamentals of flight control, since without a tail, the plane is naturally unstable. To keep it steady, the B-2 relies heavily on a complex fly-by-wire system that constantly adjusts control surfaces to maintain smooth flight. Secrecy and Espionage the Northrop B-2 program was a black project during its conception and development, requiring secret clearance for all program staff. It was not as tightly kept as the Lockheed F-1717 program. More information about the project was available, and more federal government personnel were aware of the B-2. Much work has been done to keep the B-2's design and technologies secure during development and while it is in operation. Most, if not all, B-2 crew members must have a certain level of special access clearance and go through rigorous background checks conducted by a dedicated USAF branch. Employees of a former Ford auto assembly plant in Pico Rivera, California, were pledged to secrecy when it was purchased and extensively renovated. Staff members were regularly put through polygraph tests, Military personnel would visit out of uniform, and components were usually bought through front businesses to allay suspicions. Until the middle of the 1980s, almost all program information was concealed from Congress and the Government Accountability Office, GAO. Program Costs and Procurement In the middle of the 1980s, 132 aircraft were to be purchased, but that number was eventually lowered to 75. The Soviet Union's dissolution in the early 1990s essentially ended the Spirit's main Cold War objective. President George H. W. Bush declared in his 1992 State of the Union speech that the production of B-2s would be restricted to 20 aircraft due to fiscal constraints and congressional resistance. At a cost of around $500 million, approximately $897 million in 2023, the Clinton administration approved the conversion of a 21st bomber, a prototype test model, to fully operational condition in 1996, despite initially committing to stopping manufacturing of the bombers at 20 aircraft. Northrop proposed to the USAF in 1995 to construct 20 more aircraft, each with a flyaway cost of $566 million. Radar never heard of it. What truly sets the B-2 apart is its ability to stay invisible to radar. This goes beyond shape. The materials used in the aircraft are just as important. The B-2 is covered in radar-absorbing materials, often referred to as RAM. This coating doesn't reflect radar. It absorbs it, reducing the signal even further. These materials have to withstand temperature extremes, friction, and environmental exposure all while maintaining stealth performance. Even the engine intakes and exhausts are carefully engineered. The intakes are buried deep in the body to hide the engine fans, which are a major radar hotspot. Exhaust gases are cooled and spread out to reduce infrared signatures, making it harder for heat-seeking missiles to lock on. 
the B-2 can sneak into hostile airspace, drop its payload, and get out, without anyone knowing it was there. Engineering a ghost in the sky. Flying a wing-only aircraft like the B-2 isn't easy. Because of its unstable design, computers have to help fly it. The B-2's onboard flight control system makes micro-adjustments dozens of times per second. This allows it to fly stable at both high altitudes and low levels, hugging the terrain to avoid detection. But the complexity doesn't stop there. The B-2 also has a pressurized cockpit, advanced navigation systems that don't rely on GPS, which can be jammed, and an incredibly efficient fuel system that allows it to fly over 6,000 nautical miles without refueling. To go even farther, the B-2 is equipped for aerial refueling. That means it can stay in the air for over 40 hours if needed. Missions often begin in the U.S. and end on the other side of the world, with the pilots never touching down until the job is done. Payload of power. The B-2 isn't just about sneaking around. It can hit hard. It's capable of carrying up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance. That includes both conventional bombs and nuclear weapons. Its bomb bays can be configured for a wide variety of missions. Whether it's high-explosive JDAMs, precision-guided munitions, or bunker busters, the B-2 can deliver them with surgical accuracy. Thanks to its stealth, the B-2 can strike heavily defended targets early in a conflict, before other aircraft would even have a chance to get near. This ability makes it a cornerstone of American strategic capabilities. A price tag to match. All this engineering wizardry comes at a cost, literally. Each B-2 costs over $2 billion to produce, making it one of the most expensive aircraft ever built. Add in maintenance, support, and infrastructure, and the total program cost is staggering. The B-2's stealth coating, for example, is so delicate that even the tiniest scratch can compromise its radar invisibility. That's why the bomber needs to be housed in climate-controlled hangars and undergo extensive maintenance after each mission. There are only 20 operational B-2s in existence today. It's rare, expensive, and highly classified, but its capabilities are unmatched. Legacy and the Future the B-2 Spirit first flew in 1989, and more than three decades later, it's still one of the most advanced bombers in the world. It's flown missions across the globe, from Kosovo to Afghanistan, showing not only its stealth but also its strategic reach. But it's not the end of the story. The B-21 Raider, its successor, is already in the works, promising even greater stealth automation and mission range. Still, the B-2's legacy as a game-changing aircraft is already secured. It redefined what a bomber could be. Not just powerful, but invisible. The B-2 spirit is more than a bomber. It's a symbol of what happens when engineering pushes beyond the edge of possibility. With its unique shape, stealth tech, and incredible range, it's been silently shaping military history from the shadows. If you enjoyed learning about this amazing piece of technology, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss more deep dives into the world's most mind-blowing machines. Drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.